Hey guys, this is Kelsey Singleton here, and today I'm going to be presenting to you the surface energy balance equation. So let's jump into things. What is the surface energy balance equation? I'm glad you asked. Rn equals Le plus H plus G is in fact the equation. And by definition, surface energy balance is specifically used to describe the balance between all surface energy inputs and the outputs. So on the left-hand side of the equation, Rn is the net radiation equal to the fluxes, Le, the latent heat flux, plus H, the sensible heat flux, plus G, the soil heat flux. So let's take a look at each individual term. First off, on the left-hand side, Rn, net radiation. Net radiation is simply the sum of all incoming and outgoing radiation fluxes at the land surface. This is typically the largest term in the surface energy balance equation. Mathematically, the net radiation looks something like this. Rn equals the quantity of 1 minus alpha times Rs plus Rli minus Rlo. And each of these uh, variables have their own definition. Alpha being the albedo is the fraction of incoming shortwave radiation that is reflected by the surface. Rs is the incoming solar radiation, both direct and diffuse. And if you take a look at the picture on the screen, you can see that nearly one third of the radiation is direct and about 20% is diffused through objects such as clouds. And then we go plus Rli, which is incoming long waves, and minus Rlo, which is outgoing long waves. Long waves are typically emitted through the atmosphere. Now let's look at the right hand side of the equation, the fluxes, starting with Le, the latent heat flux. The latent heat flux is the energy that is absorbed by the water at the Earth's surface during evaporation or transpiration apart from any change in the temperature. Uh, this is a flux or transfer of energy because we assume the resulting water vapor is transported away from the surface by either diffusion or advection. Now we go to H, the sensible heat flux. This is defined as the heat transfer between the surface and the atmosphere by both conduction and convection. Now G, soil heat flux. The soil heat flux is the heat transfer between the surface and the underlying soil predominantly by conduction. So now I'm going to show you a little diagram. You can see it's daytime versus nighttime of all of the net radiation equal to the fluxes. And during the daytime, net radiation is typically towards the surface and the other fluxes are away from the surface. In the nighttime, the fluxes are in the opposite directions. The latent heat flux is typically near zero during the night, although the negative values indicating condensation are possible. Um, for H, which is the sensible heat flux, during the daytime, the land surface is often warmer than the atmosphere, so the surface heats the air. And as this air comes into direct contact with the land surface, energy is transferred from the surface to the air by conduction. And that's a wrap. That's the surface energy balance equation. Net radiation equals the fluxes. Latent heat flux plus the sensible heat flux plus the soil heat flux. Thanks for listening.